How you doing, Strawberry Hill? Hope everyone is well. It's December 22nd, Tuesday. I wanted to give you some quick updates. Grab and go, okay? Uh, it's going on tomorrow, and um, we go for the break, then January 4th to the 15th, okay? 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Grab and go is the service that Stanford Public School offers. It's in different school locations where you can pick up a meal, all right? From 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. tomorrow, Okay, still going on. And then we go on break, and then it's January 4th to the 15th, 11 a.m. to 12.30, all right? We have our, um, our extended school hours grant, our patches for grades 2, 3, 4, and 5, the coding uh, club. So that starts January 11th if you have a Monday class, January 13th if you have the Wednesday class. You should be getting an email um, in terms of the, uh, the specifics of that, okay? Um, so that's really most of our news. I just wanted to extend a happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Hanukkah to all those that celebrated. Uh, Hanukkah, I, I believe that has, um, the last day passed a few days ago. And uh, Happy New Year. Feliz Año Nuevo. Feliz Navidad. Um, let me just pause for a second and just say that this is our first time experiencing the holidays during a pandemic. And if there was no pandemic during the holidays, it's, it's a great time, but it's also uh, a time w with, with some mixed emotions for some kids and some families. And uh, it's a time of giving. It's a time of being together. And sometimes um, all these challenges bring to light some of the things that uh, families may not have. And so I just want to um, all of us to be cognizant of all the difficulties that all of us and challenges that we may be having, whether it's losing a loved one. Uh, very recently, whether it's, um, you know, some economic hardships, whether it's just not doing the normal routines that we expect to do during the holidays, right? Um, getting together with our families, going out um, and doing some of the traditions that we usually do. All those things. And I think it's, uh, it's all coming down at the same time of this new way of learning um, that we've kind of all jumped into uh, beginning in September and that we're moving into uh, to end 2021. You know, there's a lot of things. And I haven't even probably covered 50 other things that we're all experiencing. And so I want us to just take stock a little bit, reflect, and make sure that we're supporting um, our very little ones our young ones, to, uh, that we could take a step back a little bit. We could take a little breather, and we have to c continue to monitor uh, them. And I want to make it a priority to make sure that we're focusing on our social-emotional learning for 2021. We're continuing to do that. We're integrating uh, more purposeful activities to make sure that kids know and have a way of informing us and connecting when there is um, some difficulty. All right, because kids cannot learn if we're if they're not in a, in a good emotional state. We know that as adults, and it's certainly true for for kids. Um, we have to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves as well. Okay, so there's a lot going on, and um, I just want to acknowledge that, and I hope that everybody um, gets to uh, find a little bit of of happiness, of love. Uh, uh, and hopefully we get to be together with our, our closest family members um, and find that time uh, to uh, reflect, relax, um, and be grateful for what we have. I'm certainly grateful, and, um, and I want to make sure that I'm also, uh, you know, giving to uh, those that are um, a little less fortunate. All right. So happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Año Nuevo. Happy New Year. Mwah. Love you guys.